Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we came here to Uvan to get uh, the ring for Bog because his good lady was um, killed as she ran off with one of his friends. But we have it now, so let's get into it. Okay. So I need to get back to my ship. But I'm over encumbered, which is. Whoa! Fine. Okay. This, this, we can do this, we can do this. We'll be fine. It'll all be good. Okay, I've offloaded some stuff, thank God, and now we just need to go in here. Okay. Bog, sir. I have something for you. So, you got something for me? I do. Uh, I got your ring. Clay's not around anymore. Um, I got the ring. Looks like Clay to took good care of it for you. Yeah. Oh. And I hope that bastard went straight to hell. Where he belongs. Oh, here's your credit. I think it's time for a drink myself. Thanks to you, I'll be spending the rest of these days in peace. Cool. There you go. Perfect. All right. So, Bog's been dealt with. Media sponge. What was media sponge again? Um, oh, we had to find this book, didn't we? Hmm. I have had enough dealings with the Crimson Fleet to know that we should both be very, very aware of our surroundings right now. All right, Andrade. We're, we're, we're all right here. Nobody will, nobody will touch us. I promise. What? What? Okay. Uh, oh, it's that bloody training thing, isn't it? Okay, let's... Well, what are these? These... Are these... Like... I'm kind of curious about the psychologist. Because what's the psychologist going to... Where's this, actually? Where's the Dragon Force book? Let's... Let's... Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, it's in Hopetown. Well... Well... Let's go to Hopetown, actually. All right. So, in here? Ah, this dude. I remember this as dude. As vital as spaceships are to these settled systems, everything would grind to a halt without the trade authority. Well, I don't know about that. There was a time when every business magnet in the collective knew my name. Well, let's trade. I'll take any cargo you want to unload. Okay, so he's got a book. Uh, here. Dragon Star Force Volume 1. We'll take it. Got any digipics? We'll take those as well. Um, I'll see if he's got any shit parts. He does not, which is uh, a little stinky, but that's fine. Okay, so what's this What's this book? I, I need to know. Curiosity and all that jazz. Uh, Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Star Force Volume 1. The universe is in chaos. The evil Sarklon, an alien being born of pure hatred, has amassed his secret armies to rain destruction upon the people of the allied worlds. A young man, Zephrex Laserbrand, is thrust into the conflict when he discovers he is the descendant of a great hero and one of the only ones capable of wielding the Dragon Star. A magical weapon capable of defeating Sarklon and bringing peace to the galaxy. But first, it must be found. Alright. Well. I think Mitch was back on, um. Was back on, um. I must stop doing that. Sidonia anyway. And I think we can go and visit the psychologist on Sidonia. So. We can, um, kill two birds with one stone. I think it's probably a good idea. Oh, yeah. I will be finding red dust in my clothing for days after we leave. Yeah, well. That's what laundry detergent is for. Okay. I wonder why he's so desperate to have this book. I mean, it's good and everything. I like a good story. I like a good book, but still. Wow, really? It's minus five here? That's pretty cold, man. Okay. Uh, is he in here? Down. Ah, you're in there. Okay. And then we'll go and see the psychologist. Maybe they can put the screws uh, 
right in our head. Uh, is he down? Did he go down here? Yes, we do. Did we? Did we come in here? Oh yeah, we've been in here. All the lockers are open. We've definitely been in here. <laughs> All right. Oh, there you are. What are you doing, kid? Not a lot of kids here. Sometimes you've got to make your own fun. All right. I uh, I hope getting that book won't be too much trouble. I recognize his voice. Come on, Mitch, stand up. That's it. Can we have a talk? Oh, did you find the book, Dragon Star Force Volume One, The Heroes of the Dragon Star? Um. Yeah, I've got it here. Oh, thanks a bunch. Oh, I can't wait to read it again, and then put it away for safekeeping so it holds its value. Here's some money, I promised. Is that it? <sighs> there are worse ways to live. I got my movies, my games, my books. What else is there? Um, would he send us on another errand for another volume? I am kind of curious here. Oh, uh, track down another volume of Dragon Star Force. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Uh, yeah, cool. Oh, thanks. You're really doing me a huge favor. Hey, I've been seeing you around here. Best not be looking for trouble, right? I've seen some karate videos. Yes, but I also carry this, my dear. But you are a child, so we won't use we won't use um use violence. We'll just we'll just leave you to um leave it to your business, dude. Yeah. So what's your deal, kid? You gonna say anything or what? Hey. Hello. Uh, who are you? Do you know what's weird? Even his face character model looks an awful lot like Cora, doesn't it? Hmm. Um. I'm Evie, just visiting Sidonia. Nice to meet you. I hope you like it more than I do here. Oh dear. I'm Tae. I live here in the Tae. condos. Sorry. I don't, I don't usually talk to strangers. That's fine. Tae. I don't know. I guess I'm thinking about lots of different things right now. I don't really know what to say. All right. Well, that's fine. Um, you seem concerned about something. Is everything okay? Yeah. I'm just worried about my mom. She gets sad all the time, and I just want to help her. She's been that way since my dad died. Oh, dear. Only, she doesn't like me talking about to other people. So, I probably shouldn't. But you know what? Maybe you should talk to her? She says she doesn't get to talk to too many other adults much. Maybe talking to her would help? I don't know. It's worth a shot, though. Right? Oh, yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, alright, I'll talk Bye. to her. It's, it's really... it's. I've got to say it. It's, it's lazy, that Bethesda. All the kids look the same. The boys, the girls, they all have the same sort of facial structure and model. It's very, um... Very I strange. should consider myself lucky. I don't need to work. But some days, I kill to go back to banking. Why don't or you? Anything related to my field of study. Well, all right. Oh, don't tell me my son Tai invited another stranger to come talk to me again, did he? That boy means well, but he's gonna drive me crazy someday. Um. I met him, he said you're having a rough time. Heh. <laughs> Gotta hand it to him. He's got his ways of looking out for me. My son means well, and I know he's just trying to look out for me. True. My husband, his father, isn't with us anymore. It's been hard ever since. Um. Should we ask what happened to the husband? Keith died in a mining accident a few years ago. Oh dear. It wrecked me. Here I was, stuck on Mars, suddenly alone with a young child. I still haven't really recovered from that. I don't really know what to do. Um. I mean, we could do that. Um. Why don't you leave Sidonia? I'm guessing you when can't Keith afford to. When died, Deimos settled with us. 
Per the settlement, they agreed to buy this condo and allow us to live here rent-free until Tae turns 18. Mm -hmm. Finding work that I can do as a single mother here on Cydonia has been almost impossible. What little money we do get from the settlement every month goes directly towards what we need to live. To be fair, Demos provides us with a sustainable lifestyle. They take care of health expenses, food, and more. But it's not enough to pick up and move. Um, What do you do for work here? Yeah. Now? Nothing. I haven't worked in almost ten years, not since we moved here for Keith's job. I had originally been offered a job here at the local Galbank branch as its manager. But not a week before I was due to start, they announced that the Cydonia branch was to be fully automated instead. It was never meant to be permanent anyway, but then when Keith died, I needed to take care of Tai full time. Not many jobs here for a, a single mum. True, I suppose, true. Um, I know he doesn't like it here. Maybe we should. I mean, it's 20,000 credits, which is a lot, but we've got a lot of credits. So, yeah, maybe this will help you and your son towards a better life. Oh, oh my. Are you sure? Yeah. That's, my gosh, it's so generous. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to put it away into savings for Tae. Maybe we can afford a better education for him. Or get off this planet someday. Then yeah. he won't have to work in the mines like his daddy. Thank you so much. If I can ever find a way to repay you, I will. Yeah. That is exceedingly kind of you. You're truly lucky to have a friend who shows such generosity to a total stranger. I'll never forget this. Yeah, we can help. Why not? Blow it. What can I say? I'm feeling a little, a little soppy. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. When I get older, I'm gonna work in the mines like my dad did, so I can save up and buy my mom a house somewhere nice. Oh, you won't have to, kid. I've just given her twenty thousand creds. You'd be all right. All right, let's get out of here. By the way, if you can hear background noise, apologies. I have the windows open in the house because. It is very warm in the UK today. It is a whopping 24 degrees, which is very hot for the UK. Or, well, for the north of the UK. It's very hot. <laughs> right. Many people think psychology is only good for treating past emotional trauma. But it's a great way to prevent it in the first place. Oh, well, all right. Can mm. we... Uh -huh. oh, damn it. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. That wasn't directed at you at all. <laughs> I'm just really stressed out at the moment. You're fine. Actually, maybe you can help me. I like her accent. It's very nice. Um, possibly. Tell me what you need help with. I am. Um, I'm aware of what you did for Trevor. Don't worry. I'm not gonna say anything to Peter. I feel like I can trust you. Mm. I'm Gilly. I'm a psychologist working for Deimos, and I've been utterly swamped with work lately, trying to make a deadline. I could use a hand tracking down some of our employees and delivering psychological questionnaires to them. It seems our assistance could be useful, provided it does not in some way violate confidentiality or potentially taint the results. Yeah. Uh, sounds pretty easy. Just overwhelmed with work or is there something else? Yes. It's a lot of personal stuff. I'm not going to get into it with someone I just met. I thought you trusted me. All you need to know is that I could really use a hand. Oh, fine. Okay, yeah, I'll help you. That's fine. You can? Yeah, oh, easy. Oh, wow, thanks. I don't even know who I've got left in the stack, but take a look at the names and track them down. When they've all filled out the forms, just bring them back to me and I'll go through them. Just tell them you're assisting Gilly. Oh, and don't read what they write down. It's supposed to be confidential. Thanks again. <laughs> Okay, Leon, Leona Hawks and Andres Jackson, Jensen, Jackson, Samundberg Ramirez, Henry Ferrer, oh Henry, God I bet Henry's would make for interesting reading, good lord, alright, let's um, in here, alright, speak with Renee, well we don't want to speak with Renee yet, we want to um, Diddy psyched. 
I'm psyched, yo. Okay, so. Okay. Are the. Ah, ah they're all down here. Why are you all naked again? This is dangerous, man. You get stones in your feet. Ugh. Good lord. Alright, excuse me. You can make a real good living. Do you know, I thought we had to psychologically evaluate the robot then? I was gonna say. Hey, hey, Salmon, hey, can I talk to you, please? Whoa, hold on there. Are you supposed to be down here? You could get hurt without proper safety training. Hey, no bother. I used to be a miner. Um, uh, it's okay. I've done mining work before with Argos. I know how to be safe. Oh, Argos. Didn't know anyone actually survived their operations. Hey, don't be rude. Nah, I'm just messing with you. I know Argos. They're good people. Their safety record's actually pretty good. They stand to beef up their security, I hear. But that's neither here nor there. I'm Salmon. Not Sammy, not Sam, Salmon. Salmon. I don't do nicknames. I've been with Deimos for what seems like forever. So what I'm saying is, if you have questions, no one here knows these mines better than I do. All right, question one, why are you all naked? There you are, answer that, Salmon, please. Uh, sorry to bother you, but Gilly needs this questionnaire filling out. Yeah. Sure, hand it here. Let's see. No. Ten. No. No. Good. No. Oh, there it is. Is that right. it? <sighs> wow, that was fast. When you've been here as long as I have, you don't really have much more to say. Okay. This is just procedure to make the suits happy. They know I'm good. Anyway, see you around. All right, dude. Um, please put some clothes on. You won't make it to retirement if you don't. You'll get injured or something. I'll burn yourself. I'll get something in your foot and ooh, some kind of infection or something. Okay, uh, so Andres, hello. Hey or Andres. There. You a new hire? I thought all our positions were full. Um. Uh, not right now, but I'd like to. I do have a mining background. Uh, actually, I'm helping Gilly from corporate with something. Oh? Interesting. Usually she comes down here herself if she needs something. I'm glad she's finally got an assistant. I mean, kind of. Anyway, I'm Andres. Andres. Nice to meet you. Something else I can help you with? Uh, Gilly wanted this filling out, yeah. Okay, oh. what happened there? Is it that time already? Sure. It's only take a moment. All right. Let's see. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. That question again? Well, all right. Okay, that should do it. Here you go. Tell her I said hi, will you? I will. Cheers, dude. So, no, Leona like and Hank. I'm going to do Hank last. Where is Leona? Living on Mars. Well, that's kind of cool. Tell Rivka her Leona's up there. Getting real old. But it ain't gonna be me. She's gonna be dead stare. Well, 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 we'll, we'll do his now. Uh, I'm <laughs> just messing with you. Hmm. I remember why I don't like you. Uh, I'm supposed to get you to fill this psychological form for Gilly. Yes. What the? Hey, seriously, that's a thing we gotta do for the company psychologist. Yes. Fine. Let me see it. What is this BS? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like I'm gonna say that. Nice try. Uh, <laughs> that'll give her something to think about. All right, whatever. There you go. Hope I get an A or whatever's good for one of these things. Huh. I personally hope you get, um, well, carted off to the funny farm, so to speak, as they used to call it. I don't know if they still do. All right, so this other woman is 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 up here. She's in the offices, by the looks of it. So we will head up. Stay silent. Up we go. In here. Oh, this woman. Hi. I know the Deimos employees here on Mars think I'm overbearing, but what they don't know is that I've saved this operation from being shut down countless times. All right. Let's talk, Leona. All right. Hello there. Hi. Do I know you? Uh, no, I'm just striking up a conversation. I'm Evie. I was hired as Peter's assistant. Or should I just say I'm helping Gilly? Yeah, the, the Peter thing might make her a little anxious. Oh, that's nice. I know she's been having a bit of a rough time, so I'm glad someone's able to help her out. Oh, hell yeah. 
I'm Leona Hawkes, Deimos Staryard's corporate liaison. Anyone who deals with our office likely deals with me at some point. I suppose I'll be seeing you around. Uh, well, she she wants you to f to fill out these questions. A psychological evaluation? Are you kidding me? Nope. Gilly, I'm the one who ordered this program in the first place. Do I really need to go through with this? Yes. I'm well aware, but you are an employee and it is company policy that everyone gets one. Okay, okay, fine. Let me have it. Gilly, your screen's not on. Okay, this isn't so bad. Easy. Yep. Mm-hmm. You really want to know that? Huh? Okay. And... Done. There you go. Remind me to make myself and the other execs exempt from these in the future. We wouldn't be where we are if we were a liability. Yeah, the thing is, it's good, isn't it? It, it, it you know... It makes sure that you're all on top of your game. I really want to read, read, read Hank's one. Can we, can we re just read Hank's one? Just, just for out of sheer curiosity. Um, really? Wait a minute, am I in the right thing here? Notes. Surely it would be a notes thing, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, completed. Psych eval. Henry. Have you had any recent changes to your medical history? No, of course not. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your current job satisfaction? 3. Like the job, but the people kind of suck. I'm really trying hard. I'm trying real hard, but they never seem to respect me. Have you at any time in the last three months experienced periods of abnormal anxiety, anger, sleeplessness, and, and or irritability? I don't know. I guess I'm angry sometimes. See above. Have you had any thoughts about harming yourself or others? If I did, I wouldn't say I, them here. I'm not an idiot. How would you describe your current work-life balance? Can't complain. I work, I eat, I get my private time. It's all good. Do you have any unusual concerns about your co-workers? I don't think they like me. I don't know why. Screw them. Wow. Really, dude? Well, that was, yeah. Pretty much what I expected. I'm not going to read the others. Gilly! You've got all those forms filled out and returned. Yep. Anyone give you any trouble? Other than Leona. Just a moment. I heard that. Uh, no. Most of them seem used to the idea by now. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice to know. This is still a fairly new process, but we've done a few of them now, so I'm glad they're taking it in stride. Uh-huh. I'm not usually one to ask others to do my work, but you really helped me out big time, and I appreciate it. Here's a little something. As thanks. No problem. Well, all right. Um, so, so is there anything else, or is that it? Gilly. Oh, how am I going to get this all done? Worker satisfaction has been trending upwards recently. Taking their psychological concerns into account has played a part in that. I mean, Gilly, you'd probably get more work done if you turned your bloody PC on, girl. All right, let's 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 let's. Let's go. We can talk to somebody called Renee. Let's go and speak to Renee. Might as well get these little Sidonia jobs done. Whoa. Just drifted our way down the stairs. That's great. In here? She's in here? S oh, so Renee's a kid, is she? Okay, Renee. Oh, those sad people out there. Wish I could help them, but... If only someone could help me. All right. Hi. I'm Renee, and I'm so bored. My mom and dad said not to talk to people I don't know, so I thought maybe I could talk to you, and then I know you, and I won't be so bored. Again, the face model, the mouth in particular, it just, it just, ugh. Uh... Yeah, fine, whatever. <gasps> See? Now we're friends! And my parents can't say I'm not allowed to talk to you! I mean, friends is a bit anyway, stretch. Anyway, what do you want to talk about? Um... Do you like living in Sidonia? It's okay, I guess. It's better than living outside, because Mars can't support life outside and I'd die. Well, yeah. But... Logic. Maybe it would be Flawless. nice to live on another planet someday. I think... I used to, when I was a real little kid. 
And sometimes my mom and dad would take me to visit my grandma and grandpa in New Atlantis. Mm hmm. Eh, uh, there can't be much to do around here, yeah. I like to play with Taiye sometimes. We come up with lots of games to play. Sometimes we listen to music or watch shows. But when he's not around, I like to draw. Sometimes I draw things and give them to people since they're so mopey all the time. It makes them smile. Actually, want to help me? I just drew these great pictures of space frog, but space frog. I can't go out right now. Can you help put them up for me? Uh, what is what's a space frog? It's space frog from outer space, and he's a little frog character that I made up. I've never seen a real frog before, but I've seen pictures. Anyway, he lives in space and goes around to different planets helping people who are sad or need help. He's great. Well, do you know what? <laughs> Why not? You will? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you! People are gonna be so happy! Here's a bunch of copies of the space frog drawing I made. You can post them in places where you think people will see them. Thank you so much! Well, all right. So we have to put up these posters of space frog. I mean, I can post pictures of a space frog. That's fine. I've got to see this space frog now, man. I've got to know. Okay, where, where am I putting this? Oh, well, we'll just go up here. Start at the top, work our way down. Why not? All right. So, one in. In there, in the stairwell. One up here on the wall. Okay, let's have a look at this. I hate when people laugh at their own jokes. Like you aren't funny. Stop it. Oh, this is space God. frog. I feel the exact same way. It's even worse if the okay. jokes upon me. Well, I mean, yeah, it's it's nice. Is that? Can we put one in the bar? Is that what it's asking for us to do? think so. I could use a break. Well, have a break. Have a Kit Kat. There's probably a lot of people wondering what on earth I'm talking about. Oh, another space frog. There you go. I don't know how, how global Kit Kats are, to be honest. But it's just, that's their, like, tagline. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Kit Kats are nice. Just so you know. There you go. That's a colourful one, isn't it? Space frog. All right. Well, we've we've done our duty there. What good it'll do, I don't know. That's what happens when you work harder than anyone else. Ma'am. Y'all are naked. Alright. Hello. How cool. I just know people are going to love those new drawings of Space Frog. Yeah, well, I've put the posters up. Hi. Thanks for doing that for me. I wish I could do it myself, but having a friendly adult help me is almost as good. All right. Um. Yeah, it'll bring I a know, smile to the right? world, won't it? Last time I did this, lots of people came over to tell me how much they loved it. Good. I only hope these drawings stay up longer this time. Anyways, it's not much, but I got a little something for you as a thank you. What is it? Oh, some creds. I can now put space frog posters at my outposts. Well, careful, kid. You'll hurt your knees. You know. All right. Well, okay. Um. There you go. Another good deed. We're doing a lot of good deeds today. How's it going? We're being we're being charitable. Okay. So we need to speak to somebody called Rivka next. Rivka. Reeve has been hacking up a long Rivka. I mean, she's probably coughing up a lung because she's got no protective gear on. Madam? Hello? Since you helped us out with the equipment and all... Yep. <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. Yeah, go ahead. <coughs> oh, dear. Uh, yeah, I hope you're okay. Cough doesn't sound good. It's... it's probably... <coughs> not, but... I can't afford to go get it looked at. <coughs> um. Any idea what's causing it? No idea. <coughs> 
Some sort of lung rot. Maybe from all the Martian dust that <coughs> kicks up in here. Or it could be something worse. Uh, I can offer you some money to help. It's not a matter of money. There's more to it than that. Okay. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. No, no, come on. Look, you definitely need to see an actual doctor or your condition could get worse. You could die, yeah. Really? That bad? I... Well, it's clear you want to help. Uh-huh. Maybe I can trust you. All right. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Mm -hmm. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. Okay. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. Uh, hmm. What did you do? What did your father do to you that made you take such drastic measures? Yeah. After my mother died in an accident, he changed. He became obsessed with my protection, but he never listened to what that was doing to me. It got worse and worse. First, it was no traveling in ships without one of his pilots. Then, no parties, no drinking, no leaving the house. I obeyed. But he didn't trust me. So he started monitoring everything I did. Okay, that's obsessive. It became so bad, he once locked me in my room for two days after an argument. Can you believe that? A prisoner in my own home. Yeah, that's Every weird. Every day there was yelling, lack of freedom, threats. I had to escape my prison. But even now, I am trapped. Um... I can pay him a visit if you'd like. <coughs> Whoa. Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father. Or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends. So you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. What do you think? I wouldn't worry. I too have powerful and dangerous friends. She stood right next to me now. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Is there anything else you'd tell me about him that might help? He wasn't always the way he is. It wasn't until... <coughs> after my mother died that he changed. Mm -hmm. Grew angry, dangerous... He was no longer himself. Oh dear. You could try mentioning her by name. Belinda. He misses her greatly. Thinking about her tends to calm him down. Okay. It's worth a try. Yeah, I'll do it. It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but... Maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> Say it's a peace offering from me. All right. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's see if we can get you out of this mess. <sighs> yeah. Do you know what? I'll, I'll. I'll. I'll do it. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or <coughs> know where to get it. All right. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Go and see the doctor for crying out loud, woman. All right, so, okay, we need to go to the bar and pick up some whiskey. I would, um, excuse me, hello? 
Hello, Jack. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. Okay, um, I hear you're the man to see about Red Harvest Reserve Whiskey. I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. Oh! The last person that came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office or something. Seems like a waste, but, yeah, whatever. He paid up. Can I buy it? I'll pay. Can't be that expensive. I can almost guarantee it's more than you think. So, are you sure about that? Money bags? Well, how much is it? 15,000 creds, good lord! I mean, could I persuade him, do you suppose? Should we try it? Now you got my attention. This ought to be good. Um. Hmm. Yeah, she's sick. I need to get this to her father before he tracks her down. Yeah. Why didn't you say so? I know Rivka's story. Rivka, sorry. Will Rivka. this really help her? <sighs> I wouldn't be asking you for this if there was any other way. Oh. I smell bullshit. You do realize it sounds like you're trying to swindle me here, right? <sighs> Look. I do have a soft spot for that girl. Yeah, think of her. Come on now. Um. I mean, if I don't get this, someone could die. She could, you know. It's compelling. But I'll need no more. Tell you what, I'll do this as a favor for Rivka. She's been through a lot. Yep. I'll only charge you what I paid for the whiskey years ago. Give me that, and it's yours. Yeah, we'll take it. I sure hope you're not pulling my leg about this whole thing. No. Or else I just let all that money slip away. You better do justice for Rivka. Oh, I will. Okay, so we need to go to Hotel Voli, Voli now. Okay. Andreja, we are on a mission. My idea. A mission to Neon. And here we are back in Neon. Love it. Alright. Let's go into the Hotel Volai. Very nice. <sighs> I'm sure we had a room here, did we not? But. We are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will uh, find Rivka's father I probably said her name wrong again and try and persuade him to like leave her to her business you know she's a full grown adult she can do what she wants so until next time be safe be good and look after yourselves